What's up, what's up? It's your boy Dominique D. Hargrove, Slight Edge Performance Program. As you can see, I'm in sunny Miami Beach, Florida. This is a quick video. It's about the active power of creative visualization and imagination. I'm a, uh, a, a great supporter and a pusher of utilizing the faculty of your God-given imagination. God has given us the power to imagine for a reason. God has given us the power to visualize for a reason. So, a quick story, quick testimony that I like to tell because I, I found it Slight Edge Performance Program in 2010 and uh, it's just been incredible how we've been able to help mentor student athletes, help athletes go to the next level in the uniform and out of uniform, in the classroom and in the arena. And a big part of that is dealing with imagination and how you see yourself. Quick story, back in 2001, my good friend Mark Parson, he said, yo, why aren't you guys playing football? I have a twin brother named Donnell, and we weren't playing high school football at the time. We played rec football. And, uh, you know, he challenged me. He was like, yo, and I love sports. I always play in the neighborhood. And um, I said, you know what, I'm going to play football. And I started uh, watching the University of Miami football team. And I, I spent, I, they had superstars. You know, you, you M, always have had the top athletes who've gone on to play in the NFL. Anyway, Antro Rowe at that time, 2001, he was a great cornerback. He did punt returns and he even played wide receiver. He wore number six. I was so, uh, you know, uh, he was an uh, icon to me in the sport of football because this guy was great, great athletic a mold to his body and a great performer. He was a playmaker. I decided to put up a poster of Entrell Road. I even cut out some cleats out of an East Bay magazine. You remember East Bay magazine? You can shop for shoes and different things like that, different sports apparel. I cut that up, I put it up on my wall. Uh, Entrell Road wore the number six. Long story short, by the time the season started, I had number six. I had the cleats that I put up on my vi vision board, on my wall, in my room. And I didn't buy the cleats. My good friend Mike Graham gave me the cleats. Nike, these awesome Nike cleats. I wore number six and I started as a JV wide receiver cornerback in punt return. I say all that to say this, my imagination and what I actively saw and fed my subconscious mind daily Help me manifest the goal. Help me manifest the vision. So what I'm telling you, the reason, one of the reasons why I'm dressed up right now, of course, uh, my my work and as far as my active income, what I do, sometimes I have to dress up. It requires me to dress up, and I like that. It feels good to me. But sometimes I just put on a nice suit or a nice tie, a nice shirt, some pants, some slacks, and I just go out. I go out to the nice neighborhoods that people are scared to go to because they say only rich people go there. I go to the nice restaurants and maybe just have one glass of wine or, or, or one cup of coffee, you know, just to put myself in the feeling, in the vibration, in the frequency of I'm rich, I'm wealthy, I own successful businesses. Um, I have abundant passive income through multiple streams daily. So speaking your affirmations and active visualization is key in your adventure in this thing called life. Follow me on uh, my YouTube page. You can check my YouTube page out. Uh, Slight Edge Performance Program on Facebook. Uh, giving the fitness tips. Uh, not only wanting to help you in fitness and health, optimal health, but also in your prosperity in your business as an entrepreneur getting more money living the lifestyle you deserve and also mental health uh, mental power and using our god-given brains and the faculty of imagination and visualization i wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers peace